Looks like Chevy Bolt was in the news today. They uh, found three so far that have caught fire. One was a 2017, a 2018, and 2019. But it sounds like uh, one was while it was on a charger, and one was, uh, well, it wasn't, but um, that one caught fire several times. Um, and the fire was put out, but it's still ignited. I can show you a video on how that, how that can happen. But yeah, if you have a, uh, a bolt or an electric vehicle that's been, had the fire been put out, you probably don't want to have that on your truck. Um, UL up in Chicago, they had, they do this kind of battery testing north side of Chicago. And they, uh, they had a battery pack that they tested once they ignited it. Um, and then during the day, and then they had to keep putting out fires, uh, throughout the night. Um, so yeah, probably wait 48 hours before you want to get close to a battery fire. And that was a good energy storage battery. Um, but I'll probably, this is my 2018 bolt. I'll probably continue to, uh, keep it in the garage, um, while I do the investigation. Uh, but for the charger, I'm probably only going to charge, uh, you know, not at night when I'm asleep. Um, if the battery does catch fire, um, you'll, you'll definitely smell it. It's a, uh, and you don't want to be around that, that smell either. Uh, it could cause like lung damage, I think, but I'll leave the F-150 out here for now. Um, till I hear back, uh, from this investigation and see what Chevy comes and contacts me with. Go check out my other short, short video real quick. If you want to see the inside of a bolt battery. But the 17, 18, and 19 model years are all the same size. Uh, they got 288 LG chem cells. Uh, safety testing is done on, at the different levels, at the pack level, at the cell level, and at, and at the uh, battery level. So um, what could possibly be going wrong is uh, there could be a bad cell design. Um, that's what happened with the Galaxy uh, Note 7, I believe. Uh, but the there also could be the battery's buttoned up pretty well uh but if something does penetrate through um the battery uh, outside wall it could cause a latent failure uh, if it punctures one of the cells um and obviously uh nail penetration isn't a standard safety test but um they do overcharge over discharge and all these kinds of things. So, um, yeah, that's th the one they did up in UL, uh, did last th through the night. So they, they can reignite. So this is a battery pack out of a, um, an actual electric vehicle. Uh, there's several of these that make a battery. And that's the, uh, initial cell destroyed it by uh, doing an over voltage on just the one cell um, so that was one and there are several cells in this battery pack and once we wait for the second one to go off that's how you get this cascade effect to uh, it goes through each cell each cell so with uh, 288 cells I think it was in the bolt battery you could have this happen over and over again